guys uh, welcome to my channel uh, this is kiran so i'm going to explain you about how to build a complete nlp news classifier application so here is a program outline so just i will uh, explain you about how to build nlp model and storing the model and then uh, serving the model using flask api and then extracting news articles from an api and then applying this model to that news articles and then extracting and labeling them and storing the data to our SQL uh, local database file okay so let's dive into the course so here the data set is uh, taken from Kaggle you can get Kaggle uh, BBC news data set there so I'm just uh, showing the base head of this uh, data set so this is the head so here you can see the category uh, text is the data news article and the category is uh, the category which it is belongs to so we are going to predict uh, this category for uh, new text data whenever we, we get a new article so we are going to label it using our predict uh, function okay so i'm not going to explain you anything deeper into nlp i think you are already having uh, some knowledge on nlp so here i'm just visualizing the data about how many classes are there in the data set so the most uh, most uh, frequent data is articles are about sport and business okay so i'm using gensim to pre-process the text so pre-processing need to be done so that's why i'm using this uh, gensim because it is already uh, having more built-in functions uh, such as uh, removing stop words and stripping text and stemming the text etc etc you can uh, go to this uh, gensim original documentation for more information so here i am uh, writing a function to clean the text using this above functions then i am returning uh, the clean text so here is the uh, uh, function uh, which will be coming from our function the output which will get from our function so whenever we give this uh, input to the function it will clean the text and it will give the output so then we are going to vectorize these entire words into numbers so for that and um, uh, before that i'm just uh, visualizing the data using world cloud so in the world cloud we can see uh, the most occurred most frequent uh, words with a higher uh -huh. font size so here uh, for five categories i am printing the world cloud you can see category wise world cloud here so in the sport category is said the word said is reputed the most and the game also so like that for entertainment category also said is the most repeated word and then film such as uh, so different words are, are being repeated so we will get a uh, bigger uh, high size font for the word which occurred most most of the times in the text okay so now I'm going to convert uh, X and Y data stream into X and Y. So this will be our X and this this will be our Y. So whenever we get a text, we need to predict which category it belongs to. Okay. So I'm using TFID vectorizers to uh, vectorize the words into numbers. So after converting the words into numbers, I'm just uh, initializing the uh, class function, which will vectorize our words and then uh, the shape of the vectors is uh, 2225 so this is the original size of our data set and then here are the vectors so these are unique each word will be having only one one number so after that we are going to import pre-processing label encoder because uh, model cannot be uh, interpret uh, this these uh, words so we are going to convert them into numbers that will makes it easier so we are converting uh, these words into numbers using a label encoder this will be a easier way you can also do it manually um, by using a dictionary uh, by allocating business to zero entertainment to one such so like that but uh, this will be easier than that then i'm just uh, transforming the entire category to numbers here by using broadcast technique and then I am just uh, converting, splitting the data set into train and test sets here. If you uh, feed numbers as a category, if you feed numbers as a category, it will take. If you feed uh, words as a category here, 
uh, you will get an error so that's why we need to convert this into numbers then there are five classes are there so we have to predict uh, which class the text belongs to from this out of five classes so this is the model so here i am running the model and uh, i am getting the predictions as an array so after that i am going to save this model so to save this model i am using pickle uh, you can also use uh, uh, any other things to save the model you can also save the model to cloud there are various methods to save the model so i am just saving the model in the local system after saving the model uh, we have to build an api so let's dive into that one in the next part